You just gotta go out and kick butt. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta kick butt. You just love a workout that just starts on the ground already. Like, oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh no, this is gonna burn. This is going to burn. Today's workout, we are gonna focus on the lower abs and the core. We're gonna work on lengthening and strengthening those muscles. So we're gonna get right into this, but you know we gotta do a quick warm up. Even if you have been doing a cycling workout or another sort of strength workout, we are gonna do a warm up just to make sure those muscles are ready to go. As we're warming up, I'll explain how things are gonna go. So flip it on over right here on all fours. We're just gonna start by reaching opposite knee to opposite elbow here, in and out, warming up those muscles, thinking about belly button to spine, and breathe, reach it out. So today, we have 16 exercises, possibly a challenge. We're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna switch sides. Right here, switching sides. Each exercise, we are gonna work for 30 seconds, followed by 10 seconds of rest, or just enough time to get ready for that next exercise. We are really gonna focus on most of the exercises, trying to keep our lower back into the floor, and that's really gonna help work those deep core muscles and focus on the lower abs. Let's do one more. Good, now we're just gonna Arch the back, round the back, squeeze the belly button, hold it, and press it down, holding it here. And bend it up, keeping that chin to your chest. Press it down, arching the back here, rounding. We'll do this just a couple more times. Last time. And down. Now, we're gonna go into a plank just for about 15 seconds. Again, still warming up. Then we're gonna get right into this workout. So you can do it on your forearms or on your hands, but just hold it. Breathing, squeezing the legs, trying to push your heels to the wall behind you, squeezing the core. Three, two, and one. Bring it down, and you can modify your core, your core. you can modify your plank at any time just by bringing it on the knees making sure your hands are pressed into the floor. Let's do that one more time. Bring it up, 15 seconds, and then we're going. If you wanna start your watch, make sure you do that right now. Gonna lower it in three, two, and one. Lower it, let's flip it right around. By the way, you don't need any equipment. We're not gonna use any weights or anything for this workout, just a mat or a cushy surface. Bring it back. First exercise is going to be a dead bug alternating leg lower. So right here, this is where you really wanna focus on keeping your back pressed against the floor and only lowering your leg down as low as you can. You can bring the hands up or you can keep them down. So we have our legs in that tabletop position. Keep that back pressed in against the floor. Keeping that leg straight or as straight as you can. Last one on this side. Good, squeeze it in. We're gonna go into scissor kicks next. So you can bring your hands up under your hips or down here, you can keep your chest up. Scissor kicks. Opening the legs and then closing them right back up, crossing the ankles. Working more if you have your shoulder blades up, but if you are flat down, you are still working it, let me tell you. Whew. More than halfway. Squeezing the core here, lengthening the muscles here. Long and lean, almost there. And then we're gonna flip it right over to mountain climbers. Whew. Last one. Whew. Flip it right over into mountain climbers. I am going to go slow into this movement, so I'm just gonna bring one leg in, tap it, and back out. Join me when you're ready. Squeezing it in, lengthening that muscle back out. Squeeze it. Pressing the weight into the heels of your hands. Don't forget to breathe. And the farther you bring that leg in, 
the more those abdominals will contract. Last one, lower it down, press it back. Now we're gonna go into a single leg plank to pull. So same leg, bring it up, pull it in. Staying on the same side here. Really lengthening and extending and bringing that leg in. Almost there. Let's do one more. Press it back, we're gonna do the same thing on that opposite side. You can be on your hands and knees and just pull that knee in as well. So here we go. Keeping your neck neutral. All right, sweat's starting already. Oh my. Five exercises in. Oh, and it's raining. Squeeze. Do you feel the core muscles, the lower abdominals really working? Last one. Bring it in. Press it back. Flipping it over. Bent knee, reverse crunch. So we're gonna bring those back up to tabletop. Keep your head down and we're just gonna re pull. Small movement, rolling here, really going to feel those muscles contract. It's a small movement, don't try to swing your legs. Use your hips to lift and pull back, crunching the lower abs, reverse crunch with a bent knee. Last one, lower it down. Next, another very small movement, really focusing on the lower abs. We're gonna do hip lifts. So here we go, feet, heels to ceiling, lift. Do not use momentum, just use those lower abs to lift the hips, slow and controlled up and down. Do what you can here. If you need to take longer recovery, do so, modify as needed. Almost there. Last one. Whew, good. Now we're just gonna do a single leg lower. Again, working on those lower abs. Same leg, lower it down as low as you can. Keep that back pressed in, the lower back pressed into the floor and up. Slow and controlled, as low as you can. Once you hit that point, bring it back up. Once your lower back starts to come up off of the floor, you need to stop and pull that leg back up. Almost there. Don't forget to breathe. Use your breath as power in these moves. Don't hold it. Last one, and then we're gonna switch left side. Just gonna hang out here. 10 seconds, not long. Here we go. Lowering it down. Keep that lower back pressed in. Don't lose your focus on that. Slow and controlled. We don't have to go fast to work those muscles. Slow, feeling it every inch of the way. Almost there. Last one. Squeeze it in. Now we're gonna go for both legs, lowering down and lowering up. Bring those legs up, again, just as low as you can. If you'd like to keep those knees bent, tap the heels, bring it back up. You can do that. If not, the legs are straight. We lower down, bring it back up. Are you feeling the lower abs? Oh my. Really working deep into our core and to our lower abdominal muscles. Oh, squeeze it in, that was that. Okay. <laughs> we have just a few exercises left. We are gonna go into tabletop. So you wanna keep your hips in line with your knees and we're just going to tap the legs. 
alternating down and up. Oh my goodness, we can feel it. Breathing. One more each side. Keep that lower back in the ground. All right, we're going into an X cross now. Now to modify, you can just do opposite knee to opposite elbow. A more advanced move, you're gonna be out into an X, reach it across. Working the lower abs, but we are also working the upper abs here as well. Breathe out right here at the top of this move. Think about squeezing the core, working into the obliques as well here. Almost there. Last one. Lower it back, we're gonna do the same thing, opposite side. Oh, I am glad you joined me for abs today. This is a serious burner. Oh my God. We're going. We've got two exercises after this. Again, if you need to modify, bent knee, opposite knee to opposite elbow. But again, we are lengthening. We have our legs out straight. Stella's enjoying the abs today. <laughs> she looks so comfy cozy. Let's do one more. And then we're gonna flip it over. Plank on your four, whoops, plank on your forearms. And we are just going to lower the knees. If you wanna modify, just do the modified plank right here and hold it. On our forearms, tapping our knees. Squeeze that core, squeezing the glutes. Almost there. Let's do one more tap each side. All right, lower it down. We're gonna go right back into it. I'm gonna bring this up. We're gonna do a rocking plank back and forth. So bring it up, press the heels of your hands into the ground, rocking it back and forth. Squeeze that core, just rocking on your toes here. Neck is neutral, halfway. Almost there. Last one. Lower it down. Whew. All right. I have got a challenge for you. This is gonna be our last and final challenge. <sighs> Stick with me if you can for this one. Again, you can do this on your toes or you can do it on your knees if you wanna modify, but we are gonna do a walk out plank. So we're gonna come out, hold it. One, two, three, four, four walks back. Four out as far as you can, similar to what you would do if you were doing a roll out, but we're gonna go for 30 seconds. We have a nice little break. So when you are ready, here we go. Four out. Really working the lower abs, the core strengthening and elongating those muscles. Almost there. One more out, one more back. Lower it down. We did it. Oh my God. What do you know? In just 10 minutes, you can make it rain. We did it. That was awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, go check out the cycle or get yourself some dessert. Am I pointing? I never point to the right thing, but I'll see you over there. I love you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you right over there.